Hey everybody, Carl Schuff here from Greensock. Today I'm excited to introduce you to Custom Ease. Choosing the right ease is one of the most important decisions for professional animators as it has so much impact on the style and emotion of your animations. If you're using CSS animations, the Web Animations API, and most other JavaScript libraries, chances are you're stuck with cubic bezier functions that only allow you to alter two control points. This can be really limiting, and you can never do anything cool like a bounce or an elastic ease. GSAP already offers a wide array of standard eases and even some that can be configured and fine-tuned. But what if you want to make a subtle change to one of the standard eases, or do something wildly different? Well, that's no problem if I'm using custom ease. Watch what happens when I click on the custom button. This curve becomes totally editable. I can select this point, move it wherever I want, I can option or alt click to add as many points as I want and move them around. And I have the same types of controls that I would have in a drawing program like Illustrator, okay? So here I've just quickly made an ease that's going to shoot towards the end values, come back down, and then shoot up again. Let's give it a whirl. That's pretty cool. And I can select these points if I want and change them over to corners just by holding down alt or option when I click. I can undo that if I don't like it. I can select a point and delete it. And really cool is that I can take the end point and bring it all the way back down to the beginning. Let's pull this one up here like this. And now I have an ease that's going to make the animation literally end where it begins. The ball goes up and comes back down. You could never do that with a cubic bezier function, but if you wanted to recreate a CSS animations ease, you can just copy in those values from a cubic bezier ease and paste them into the ease visualizer. Voila! There I have that same ease. The amazing thing about custom ease is that it can take any SVG path data. So I can jump over to Illustrator, I can select this artwork, hit Command C to copy, go back to the ease visualizer, and I'm just going to paste in that SVG. Now I get a whole bunch of stuff for the entire SVG file, but when I click off of here, the ease visualizer just grabs that path and now it's being used as my ease. When I hit the run button, you'll see we have a nice little double hop. The possibilities here are virtually endless. Custom Ease is available to anybody with a free GreenSock account or Clo GreenSock membership. You can create your free GreenSock account easily on any page on the GreenSock site. Once you have your account, just log in and you'll see your GSAP with bonus content zip. You'll find Custom Ease in the Eases folder. To learn a whole lot more about Custom Ease or to set up your free GreenSock account, just head over to greensock.com slash custom ease. You'll find a bunch of videos and demos and everything you need to get up and running quickly.